Welcome to the first ever Hop and Puff Challenge. Brought to you by the Big Bad Wolf Blower and Big and Bright Inflatables. All right, everyone. Moments before the weigh-in, there was a little bit of drama as the yellow and black machine was mouthing off to the Big Bad Wolf. And the Big Bad Wolf was not having it. As you can see, they're getting into it. And there's contact. The contact was made between the Big Bad Wolf and the yellow and black machine. Wow. Let's head down to the weigh-in. All right, first is a yellow and black machine. Again, that one had a little bit of contact with the Big Bad Wolf coming in at 32 pounds and a 9.76 running amperage. Next, we have the Big Bad Wolf. Some say the rookie, it's 32 pounds, way up at startup is 21 and running at 11.7. Not bad for the rookie. Next is the big green machine. Some say it's quiet. Weight at 34 pounds and running at 11.7. Not too bad, but not a great showing by the green machine. Next is the two horsepower blower weigh in. 33 pounds for the yellow and black two horsepower and running amps at 13.5. Again, not bad, pretty standard numbers. Next is the green and gray machine. Wow, a whopping 36 pounds and running at 11.1 .1 amps with running amperage. That is a big mama jama. Next is the rookie, again, as the two horsepower Big Bad Wolf, weighing in at 35.5, also a big mama jama, running at 13.1 and start up at 21.6. Again, a very new to this field. And finally, we have the big black machine at 33 pounds. This is the two horsepower running at 15.6 and start up at 20.3. So that's gonna do it for the weigh-in and the amperage. Here you can see the totals. All right, now we're going to send it down to Matthew Billington, the owner of Big and Bright Inflatables, who's down on the field. Take it away, Matt. All right, welcome to the first ever Huff and Puff Challenge brought to you by the Big Bad Wolf Blower. So let me tell you what we're going to do today. We're going to have a series of events that test blowers. We're going to have multiple blowers out here, and we're going to see which one is the best. The Big Bad Wolf is the rookie of the group. We don't know how it's going to compete, but we, we're hoping that it will show up and, and, uh, and win some of these events or at least compete in every one of these events. So we're going to do a bunch of interesting events. Some are very much uh, inflatable related and some are just for fun, but they're all going to show the strength of the blowers today. So the very first event we're going to do is called the Buccaneer Blow Up Challenge. And the way the Buccaneer Blow Up Challenge works is we have this pirate obstacle course fully inflated right now. In a minute, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it off. We're not gonna unzip anything. We're not gonna change anything. And we're gonna wait five minutes, exactly five minutes on a clock for it to deflate. Once we do that, we're gonna put the first Challenger blower on. We're gonna turn it on and we're gonna see how long it takes it to inflate from that level to full inflation. So it's a time challenge to see how fast the inflatable can be blown up. The reason we're not unzipping or changing anything is because that would bring variables into the situation. Maybe we zipped it better for one blower than the other. So just by leaving them completely zipped the way that they are, this should make it fair. Five minute timer in between each one. Let's go. All right, so we're ready to start the very first challenger here. So what we're gonna do in just one second is I'm gonna hit this start button, which is gonna start the five minute uh, timer. I'm gonna turn it off and I'm gonna unplug it. The, the unit's gonna start to fall. Immediately when this hits zero, we're gonna have the first challenger ready to start blowing it up and we're gonna time it. Let's go. All right, we got 33 seconds before we start. So I'm gonna tell you a couple things. First off, the first challenger is the gray and green one and a half horsepower. We are, uh, get a, just a quick view of that. All right, we have 20 seconds. Watch and start. Here goes the timer. We're gonna put the block right here.
All right, we're at the one minute and 51 second mark and it's getting close. The cannons are starting to pop. We're about to call this thing. We did as uh, and inflated. Two minutes and one second. We're gonna call that two minutes and one second on the green and gray. Now that we're up, we're gonna show you a couple different things. I'm gonna give it a few seconds to get to back pressure. So during the weigh-in yesterday, we were showing you amperage, and this is gonna be the under pressure amperage of the green and gray. So um, when we first did it, it spiked. It always spikes, then it levels out, and that level out number is usually pretty close to what is on your uh, nameplate. But then once it's under pressure, the machine kind of slows down a little bit, and this is the amperage it's pulling during most of your rental. Should be fully inflated now, so we're gonna come over to the static pressure gauges. All right, this one is blowing right over 1.0 on here, and then let me turn on the digital one real quick. And the digital readout is gonna say 0.92. I can't really explain it, but the digital always reads a little bit lower. I like the digital gauge because it's gonna be a good comparison between all of the candidates that is just a little bit more definable. All right, with that, it's time to go on to the second contestant. We got our five minute timer, ready, go. All right, we'll wait for it to get to five minutes and we'll do this thing again. Time to go, so we need to get in on this. We're making sure we seal it tight, and we're going to the stopwatch and reset start and turn this bad boy on. Here we go, we're starting. We're making sure it's nice and sealed right here, and we're making sure this doesn't get in the blower tube. Let's see how long it takes to go up. All right, we're also watching the tube to keep it straight on all the contestants. As this thing starts to get closer, we're at one minute and 30 seconds. We can show up here. We'll call the thing when it pops. Cannons are almost up. Cannons are up and Last wall up, one minute, 53 seconds. I didn't stop it on time, but one minute, 53 seconds for the one and a half horsepower Big Bad Wolf. This is the one and a half horsepower, get, a, get the name plate there. All right, now we're gonna go in. We're gonna let this thing get up to pressure for a minute. All right, so once it's back pressured, you can see it's kind of back down a little bit, runs at about 10.49. This, uh, this is the amperage that's gonna be being pulled throughout the majority of your rental. Now, if a kid's bouncing on a little bit, it'll adjust that a little bit. We can kind of show that by me simulating here. You'll get a little bounce, maybe a little bit more if they were inside. But bottom line is it's gonna be pulling about 10 and a half amps. Let's go over here to the static pressure. What does static pressure do? Static pressure often shows you uh, um, how firm the unit is. It's the best indicator of how firm the unit is, okay? So this one is just over 1.0 on the uh, analog gate and on the digital, it reads out at 9.2, it bounced to 9.3 for a minute, but let's call it 9.2. All right, time for the last contestant in the one and a half horsepower event. So we're gonna go to our five minute timer and we're gonna hit start, kill it, pull it off. All right guys, we got 45 seconds before the last contestant in the one and a half horsepower round. The last contestant is gonna be the uh, black and yellow machine, okay? And so um, one thing I wanted, to, just like a disclaimer, what I wanted you guys to know is that I am not a rental company, okay? All of these were pulled out of boxes in our shop, okay? They have less than maybe one hour worth of uh, blow time on them. We have maybe put up a, a unit here or there to take a few pictures, but none of the units, none of the contestants today have 
more than an hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes worth of blow time on it. So they're all very new and equal. They've also all been made in the last um, 12 months, probably maybe, maybe 18 months max on manufacturing. Two seconds left and we're ready to go. Watch. All right, here we go. It's coming up to speed. Making sure it's all tight, which it is, and nothing in the way of the blower tube. All right, we're reaching the minute 40 second mark and uh, things are beginning to come up. See the cannons starting to go up. The flags are getting close. This seems to be the thing that pops absolute. Cannons are up. And 158, one minute, 58 seconds. So this seems to be the thing that always pops up last. So we're gonna use that as the indicator. One minute, 58 seconds. So under back pressure, this blower uh, runs amps of uh, 8.7, 8.75. The static pressure, see this is why we got the digital gauge because it's hard to kind of read this thing out, but it is slightly there. And on the digital gauge, we're looking at 0.90. So these three competitors were all within 0.2 of each other on the static pressure test. All right, we're about to cut it off and we're gonna do the five minute timer and we're gonna start the two horsepower event. All right, we're moving over to the two horsepower. We got 29 seconds left on the clock. We're gonna be starting with the green and gray machine. Here as we get a little bit closer, uh, 20 seconds from now, we're gonna get going. All right, back up with five seconds till it's time to go. And go. One second. Nice and firm, nothing in front of the blower. All right, we're about 34 seconds in. I can start to see the wheel come up, the blowers and the flags. Again, this one's gonna be the final one for we stop it. I'm gonna try to actually stop it this time. Wheels up, it's up, and the last. 153.16, 153.16 for the green machine. Now that it's back pressure down, this thing is running at 9.53 amps. Digital blowout. Looks like a little bit between the first and second one. This a uh, little bit over there. And it's blowing at 0.95. So a bit of an improvement over the one and a half horsepower. Okay, let's get ready to switch to the next one. Ready, start. Okay, we got 30 seconds left before we start with the black machine. Now the black machine, uh, we didn't have one entered into the one and a half horsepower. This is a different unit. I will tell you though, when we did the weigh-in yesterday, what you're gonna see, and it's on the nameplate too, is this is uh, this is almost more like a two and a half horsepower. It's, uh, it reads out around 16 amps. So take a look at the nameplate there. So it's definitely the biggest contender in the field. So I, I expect it to blow up uh, pretty fast and, and hold a very high static pressure. Ready, go. We'll see, uh, we'll see if my guess is right about it with this as strong as many amps as it has. I'm showing you on this one because uh, during the blow up process, this is reading out above 15 amps. So um, it should back down once it gets the full pressure. But uh, you, you know, on some old houses and um, 15 amp breakers like you, you could pop some circuits during the initial blow up process, but it should be fast. All right, we're already having to come in 125 to get ready because steering wheel's about to pop up. Cannons are up and the back one is up at 133. So like I predicted, this bad boy with the 16 amps uh, blew up pretty fast. It Once it you know levels out, it's running at 12.72 amps, 12.6, 12.7, let's call it, amp. So it does get back under the 15 amp limit as far as the circuit breakers are concerned. 
and you're gonna see a big difference on the static pressure here. 1.25, I'm sorry, I can't read this thing, 1.25. And I still, I don't know why the digital and the analog always read so different. Again, this is gonna be easier, more easy to compare, but 1.09. With that, let's get back to the timer and let's go. All right, we got 28 seconds left, and then the two horsepower Big Bad Wolf's about to go. The key sponsor of the event here. The Big Bad Wolf is a rookie though, so uh, we're hoping this two horsepower can compete in this event. We got five seconds left. And go. All right, we're coming in here at about a minute 25. Looks like it's about to start popping up. The wheel's gonna go up first. All right, wheel's almost up. Cannons are up and flag at 141. All right, 141. Okay, the working pressure is about 11, or not uh, amperage, working amperage is about uh, 11. It's still kind of coming down a little bit. Let's give it a second. All right, 11.65. And we'll come in here. Static pressure, again, is about firmness. Right in the middle, about 1.25. And on the pressure gauge, it is 1.09. All right, so, oh, we got a one point, oh. 1.9, 110, all right. And so um, that's gonna be the firmness of the unit. And so it's running lower amps, but same firmness as the black unit. We're about to switch this over and go to the next one. All right, so we got 26 seconds left. This is the last contender in the two horsepower event. And then we get to move on to the, the fun one. You're gonna enjoy the final event today. So um, the last contestant is gonna be the black and yellow machine, if you wanna get the nameplate there. We got five seconds. And go. All right, we're coming in at a minute and 30 seconds and things are starting to go up. Pop, pop. 136, all right. Let's go ahead and uh, let the amperage work out. All right, looks like it's leveled out at about 11.9. It's running, I don't know, 1.18 or so, 18. 1.0 flat, let me, yeah, it's working. 1.0. Okay, so that's the end of the Buccaneer blow up challenge. actually means, but it might mean something. Fire in the hole. 88. 87. Looked like that one beat it by a couple feet. Math is hard, people. 78. Get a wider tape next time. All right, one last chance. Oh! 